Okay, hi again everyone. Back to my Book of Shadows. I decided that the video was getting kind of long, so I split it up into two parts. So this, ignore this, I'm just using this as a placeholder. And here is where I begin with spell work. As mentioned earlier, some of these spells I do include on the website, so you're welcome to look at them. Some of them I've mentioned in previous videos. But the way I wanted to do the spell portion of my Book of Shadows is not just write down the spell and that's it. I wanted to include any thoughts on how or why to do this type of spell work. And to give an example, this is the Love Letter Transformation spell that I did and it's followed by uh, Mending a Broken Heart. So this has to do, a, a lot of these spells so far have to do with the heart, have to do with the water aspect, emotions, and to me any of that has to be entered into carefully. You, you don't want to mess with the heart. You can cause a lot of damage. And so this portion here, tran um, transforming the pain of a broken heart, this is actually my thoughts and theories about doing this kind of spell work. So where possible I want to offer an introduction like that on uh, my personal beliefs about the working that follows. And then for each of the individual spells, I don't think this one has it, but I do also want to offer my experience of why I did that spell to begin with. This does not have it yet. I thought maybe it did. All right, instead of looking for it, I'll just show you with this one. This one I added in, so the actual spell, this is to mend a broken heart, and the actual spell ends here. So that first page up to here is the actual spell work that I did. Everything following that is the story behind why I did it. What was going on in my life? What was it I was trying to mend? And I actually also included a couple of pictures of who I'm talking about, what I'm talking about, to, to give it a personal aspect and to connect what I'm doing in my book with me. And here I have the Little Soul spell that I did as a spell to follow a miscarriage uh, for someone who had that happen and was not feeling very well at the time. And then I also have the Little Soul's Witch's Bottle. And I do still need to include the ritual for this. I do want to create a Little Souls ritual instead of just the spell work that can be done with a group of women in the event of miscarriage to try and support the mother. And so I have notes here about things I need to include. Complete the ritual and the background on this information because I have a lot of good information about the Japanese ceremony that I want to talk about. All right, and then I have my grandfather's healing grid. Again, I included a picture of the grid that I did and the items used, and then a little description of notes, what I did specifically, how I set it up. And actually, I mean, the notes is just this tiny part here. So really, I have not a whole lot of information on this one, but it's because it's a grid. It's, to me, fairly self-explanatory. And then here I have the background, the story, how this relates to me and why I did it. All right, and then I have, again, old workings that I did. This is prosperity. I have notes on additional things like consecrating working tools that I need to write up. And these are the worksheets that I put together for a few different things. This is intention casting. I'm going to be telling you more about this later because it has to do with one of those projects for next year. And then I have a crystal grid worksheet that I put together and herb reference worksheet uh, that I put together. These are just blank ones that I have available. I put them in here uh, so I would have them. These worksheets, by the way, are available free as a thank you. 
if you want to sign up for the newsletter at the website. Um, I did make them available there, if you're interested. Okay, where's the end of this? All right, and then again, ignore this. This is a placeholder. And here I get into additional stuff that I have not worked with yet. These are basically notes, a lot of plant stuff to begin with. And then I get into, all right, old notes. Uh, anything useful? Ah, Nine Worlds. So this was a little bit of my study of Asatru, the Norse Pantheon, etc. I put that in there. I need to figure out how I want to write it up so that it's something that I go back and look at. I am known for taking copious notes that I never look at again. So how I want to work with this, I haven't decided yet, so it's in there. I have a tarot reference sheet uh, that I probably will not include in the Book of Shadows because, again, I don't like having mess loads of reference stuff. Everything has gotten so easy to find on the internet. I have, you know, I've decided what my favorite reference books are that I want to keep in print, so I really don't have a problem looking up stuff when I need to. So I don't want to clutter up my Book of Shadows with that. Um, these were daily correspondences. I have information on working with angels. This this packet is years and years old. <laughs> uh, but yeah, all of this from here on out, everything else in here, is old reference items that I need to go through as it comes up, figure out how I'm going to work with it, and decide if I want it in my Book of Shadows or not. This one I just realized is something interesting. This I received from an event at the Botanic Gardens. I went to a Japanese tea ceremony there and it gave information about the tea ceremony. And this, again, see this is how I work with my Book of Shadows. This is a great idea. It's not culturally mine, but it's something that I could see incorporating into my own practice, creating a tea ceremony for daily witchy work or for ritual or what have you. I would love to do something like that. So that's why I keep that because it's a reminder to me that I want to do something like this and I need to think about it. All right. And then I saw something else at the back here that I wanted to point out. Uh, ah, okay. These were notes on rune readings that I did years and years ago. These are for, probably from, yeah, this is from 2002. This stuff no longer relates to me So uh, at this point in time. So it's not something, taking notes on tarot readings, rune readings, things like that is important. I, I give it that it's important and it's good to look back at, but at this point in time, it's no longer relevant and it's not something that I would have wanted permanently in my Book of Shadows. So I can keep it here for reference if I want to look at it. I could dump it. I can figure out how else I may want to work with this, but this is not something that I would keep in my actual Book of Shadows. Okay, and these are, last items here, a couple of the rituals that I participated in with the Open Circle at the at Fort Carson correspondences okay and more notes and there you have it that is my flip flip through of my book of shadows so to end things I think I'm going to tell you a little bit about my plans for my book of shadows in the new year. So I will be right back okay, with that. Okay, hi there. Sorry, the Book of Shadows information got kind of long and I'm probably running out of memory space anyway, but I just wanted to let you know what I want to do with this for the next year. So a while back, I don't remember if it was this year, I think it was actually 2015, I finally decided to choose a Book of Shadows creator on Etsy and told them what I wanted, shelled out the big cash for it, and wound up having a really horrible experience uh, with they, they had me sitting there waiting for nine months. The 
length of time that I was told it would take was anywhere between, I think, four and 12 weeks or up to, up to six months maybe, but definitely no longer than that. And I was waiting for nine months. They never even started on my book. I had paid in advance. It was a horrible, I had to back and forth. It was a horrible, horrible experience. So me being the way that I am, I decided, screw it, I'm going to make my own book. It's plenty of people do it. I know it's a craft that I can do, uh, that I can put the effort into, and I'm just going to do that. So that is my current plan. I do already have some materials from some older projects. I have found a bookbinding supplier online that there is actually one bookbinding supplier here in Denver who I can go look at, but they have a much smaller selection than the one online. So I am going to request some samples, hopefully before the end of the year, but I'm not sure. I want to request paper samples and start to make a plan for during 2017, starting to migrate some of the information that's in this notebook over to a real hardbound sewn pages book that I make myself. And right now the only thing that is coming up as a little bit of a glitch that may cause me problems is my intent was to create something that basically has eight and a half by 11 sheets, um, pages in it, because I like that size for being able to write. However, I already have issues with my notebook of shadows being kind of clunky and heavy and not really convenient for ritual. I've been working on ways around that. I don't really want to carry my book around. I know I can take pages out, but I don't like that idea either, and that won't work if I have a bound book. So I've been considering whether or not I can make a smaller book function. This is a bad example, um, but this is my bullet journal, but basically something this size, but thicker, kind of like my journal, but the tripod is sitting on my journal right now, so I can't show you, but something more this size, but thicker. And I'm worried that the, the writing in it will just get too cramped and I, I will feel like I don't have enough space. But I'm not really sure if that should be a concern. Like, I think I'm making a, too much out of it in my head. So I, I don't know. And the other thing is with this, something smaller, I was considering maybe I should split it up into a couple of volumes. One just for ritual, one for spell work, something. So that is the confusion I'm going through right now. And that's what I'm trying to figure out. But I do know that I want to put together a bound book on my own that I create and start transferring some of the information that I have decided will be permanent. Things like the completed rituals, the opening information, the book blessing, the information about me, whatever I have completed at the moment, I want to transfer over and then be able to add to it as I go with additional rituals and spell work. Okay, so there was my Book of Shadows overview. I hope you enjoyed it and let me get to making some other videos for you. I'll talk to you again soon. And if you have any input on that size of the Book of Shadows issue that I'm having, please leave a comment for me and let me know what you find works best, any ideas that you have, uh, anything like that would be helpful. Okay, thanks again and talk to you soon. Bye.